evening everyone how are we doing nice to see you nice to see you welcome to the nearly men channel twitch.tv slash the nearly men my name is paul kaczynski i am one third of the nearly men video games program along with colin little and gary hogg simmons welcome monday night is paul kaczynski night you're here you're ready we're going to do erica again a different way Aww. this week is indeed a podcast week we do a, a fortnightly podcast it's going to be episode 76 this week on thursday thursday night at 8 p.m on this channel live it's going to be good fun we love hearing from you we love knowing what you're playing we love knowing what you're thinking about the current news situation in gaming there's two big consoles just been released we'd love to know if you've got your hands on one and what you think of it if you want to get in touch Here's how you can do it. Reaching the Nearly Men is easier than ever. Search for the Nearly Men video games podcast on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, or your preferred podcast player. We stream on Twitch. Follow Colin at Colin underscore NM. Follow Paul at Paul Kaczynski, all one word. Follow Gary at Blunderboy87. And let's get social on Facebook as the Nearly Men. Twitter and Instagram where we are at Nearly Men or go old school and email us on info at thenearlymen.com. Need all that again? Links are on our website, thenearlymen.com. So what are you waiting for? Indeed, what are you waiting for? Get in touch, let us know. We love to hear it, we love to hear it. Big thanks to Fido86 for the follow while we're off air. Thank you very much. It's always always nice to meet a new follower how are we doing don't you mean deja too paulo mimi you know you get timed out for bad jokes i thought about that i went with a rhyme instead deja vu erica playthrough too you know what i mean but maybe not everybody's seen that maybe deja two was the way to go so that's what you sound like scripted that's not scripted, that's just half the heat. Just taking it slow for people that don't know me. Nice and clear, crisp and cut. Nobody ever scripts Paul Kaczynski. Actually, it's the best way you get Paul Kaczynski, to be honest. <laughs> How are we all? It's nice to see you. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. How has your Monday been? Or Mimi, how is it? You're, you're still going through Monday. Over here, we're coming to the tail end of it. Got an evening ahead. An evening of Erica. We're going to decide to go different routes. As different as we possibly can. Now, what I'm worried about is we get to a point... So, these games are usually... They're like a tree, if you like. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know what best way to visually do it. So, you come to a choice... And usually that choice takes you that way, another choice takes you that way. And what usually happens with games like this is you will get an answer and then it will bring you back. It's like a diamond almost. So you you essentially have a collection of diamonds that lead to a number of points. Um, so it could be like six points. If it's six different endings, it's got six points and it's like a diamond, like a, a mesh all the way. So, what I'm curious to know is, if it is as straightforward as that, excuse me, as straightforward as that, hello Lindsay Mar, how you doing? Oi oi, oi oi, you te you're always welcome to tease Mimi, tease away, you can't offend us, We're, we love a good laugh, take the rip out as much as you want. So what I want to know is... Is it going to be a mesh that so that if we make one decision, are we going to go and then come immediately get back on track to where we were? And we're going to have to constantly make decisions between two things. So the one that always comes back to me was the, when we were in the corridor, when we are in the, the, the reception of the, the institution and the phone goes just after we see the kind of cult people run down the hall and you had the choice to go with them, follow them or answer the phone. And we answered the phone which then took us into the room at the back, right? So what I want to know is, for example, tonight we're going to follow the cultists. Does that mean we completely miss out in the room at the back? Or does it mean, you know, she goes down and she doesn't see anything 
and comes back. She misses the phone call, but she notices the door open or something like that. Do you know what I mean? So I want to know how much of it is going to be smashed open. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I want to know if it's if it's going to completely change what we are viewing or whether it's essentially going to be the same with some minor wee changes basically and we miss out on certain things so no matter what way you go you'll miss out on the other thing if you know what I mean so we'll see things we didn't see last week but we'll miss out on what we found last week if that makes sense that's, that's what I'm thinking is going to happen Monday is long going to be 11 hour days this week since we're closed Thursday and Friday Oof. Oh, of course it's Thanksgiving isn't it This week is it this weekend uh, Thanksgiving. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. My my, my wife works full time, basically, so uh, I look after my wee boy most of the time, and he's a good wee guy. He's a good wee guy. He's been he's been under the weather last week, and now he's kind of getting to that point where he feels better. So he's, he's full of fun and full of games just now. It's a good guy. It's a good guy. It's a good guy. Now, I have had I have had word from a couple of people saying that they're going to be late. And if you were here last week, there were a couple of latecomers. I'm not going to name names. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> but they've, came, they've said, I'm going to be late. You don't need to explain this story to me. So, that's that. If you're late, you're late. It's Thursday. Hold the phone. I didn't know you were there. Yeah, I'm dad. I've got two kids, Mimi. Two kids. He is very like me. Both of them are like me. And both of them are like my wife as well. It's a split down the middle. <laughs> Lindsay Murr was one of the latecomers. You, but you weren't late late. Were, yeah, well, you were. You, it was Nat Pacino was the first in. And she was 35 minutes late. And you were about an hour late, maybe. I'm saying late. I, I don't think you can be late for a stream, to be honest. You come in when you come in. But then somebody came in at like an hour and a half, two hours in, yeah, or something. Dancing Toaster it was. There, yeah, said I wasn't going to name names, but I'll name him. <laughs> he walks in, expecting to be explained. Outrageous. Outrageous. Din, 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 din. Right. Will we dive in to Erica? Have you got two kids as well, Mimi? Only five years younger than me. What? I, I, that's a story, Mimi. That's a story. Are they, are they your stepkids? Ah, there we go, there we go. I was about to say, that's a young mum. <laughs> what age are your kids? Mine are two and seven. Two and seven. Seven going on sixteen, by the way. As they say, as the old saying goes. Sorry, my machine's making noises. We are we're gonna play on PS5, by the way. Not that it'll make it look any better. Uh because it's, it's still gonna just be an HD. Um But just in case anything goes wrong. Just putting that out there. Will we dive in? Do you remember? Well, Lindsay, you'll get to see the start, which is nice. Uh, I thought Brian might be here. Brian, Brian thought he was going to be coming. But, um... There you go. Right, so, boom. Here we go. Erica. In we go. New story. Where are we? Yes, continue. You will get the full, full story. You get to see the start. Start's quite important, to be honest. The first scene is quite important to the whole setup. So it's good that you get to see this. 
No worries, pal. No worries, Mimi. I have watched Bandersnatch. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a, uh, there was one particular bit that was raging because it made me choose. You'll know what bit. <laughs> the bit you couldn't get away from. Very clever. Very clever. All of Black Mirror, I'd, I've not been disappointed with Black Mirror once. The only one that was slightly disappointing because I thought it was a wee bit lazy, was the Christmas special one with two fantastic actors. Was it John Hamm and, um, gosh, what's his name? Uh, oh, what's his name? His name's totally escaped me now. <gasps> Glorious actor. You'll know it, Lindsay Murr. Um, but it's... Uh, I can't get Rufus Sewell out my head. It's not Rufus Sewell. It's, it's a name like that, though. Oh, and he's somebody's son as well, isn't he? Oh, torture! Absolutely tortured. <sighs> I'm gonna have to look it up. And I, I just, I just found it a wee tiny, tiny touch lazy. It was. I don't know. I, I, but you know, it wasn't even lazy. It was a fact. I think it was the only one at the time. Um, how am I going to find this? The one with the wee girl? Yeah, the wee girl. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Black Mirror Christmas Special. White Christmas, that's what it's called. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Tell me his name. <gasps> am I going to get it before I... Uh, I find it. Na, 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 na. Rafe Spall. Rafe Spall. Timothy Spall's boy. Uh, I end up being more supportive of motherly. One's actual mother. Another's pretty much her twin. 30 with two 25 year old kids. Brilliant. That must be quite cool though. If they like you, that's quite cool. <laughs> Good on you, Mimi. Good on you. Aye, so the, the White Christmas, the, the Christmas one was the only one I think that I kind of worked out what was going on quite early on. But I, I love John Hamm and Rafe Spall for the line, the line for me. I couldn't remember his name there. Um, Two fantastic actors. So yeah, Black Mirror's brilliant. If you've not seen Black Mirror, go and watch Black Mirror. Not yet. Wait till I finish this. Hold on. so much to do here. I'll not sing Unchained Melody this time. Or will I? Oh, you'd be good at it, Lindsay. Erica. Shouldn't play with it. Dangerous. Colin's right though, man. Colin said immediately that guy's a baddie because he's haircut. Budget Crispin Glover. Mummy and I met many, many years ago in a place called Delphi House. She was a nurse, I was a doctor. Is that a pop? At night, we tell each other. I shall die. I shall die, you. Tell me about the future. I shall die. Wonderful things. Things only she could see. I tell her about the past. Exactly. Like the priestess, marked 
with a butterfly who could stare into the fire and see the future. Ooh. I used to tell her she was magic. I love. Your dad's supposed to. I think you're magic too. No, you're da. But you're gonna have to prove it. Like, you're da. <laughs> you're, you're da. Pick a photograph. Pick your favorite. Right, so last time we picked the wedding. We picked the wedding. Um, I'm going to pick this one tonight. <laughs> I'm not evil. <laughs> Have you got a floppy fringe with me? Well, that's scary. Now, close your eyes. Focus your mind and conjure the power of the ancient priestess. Now find your mum again. Hey. See this is long. Guess where your favourite is. Hey, we didn't guess last time. Where, where, did I, where did I do? Because if it's the same, we picked the one I've just picked last week. Was it the middle I said? No, oh, it wasn't. It? Son of a gun. Oh, disaster. Don't worry. I still think you're magic. She'll always be with you. Remember that. Even though she isn't here, she's still a part of you. If you could stare into the fire and see the future, what do you think you'd see? So I'm still no confused. Hey, Bri, how's it going? We've just started, buddy. Just started. Um, you're never late for a stream. You're never late for a stream. Don't worry, you just come when you come. I still um, think that the whole thing's in the future. How are you tonight, Bri? Hope you're well. Cats are evil, I. I've got cats. I had a, I've had cats in one now. My cats are inherently evil yet. Oh man, Bri, no worries at all. Sit back, buddy. We about escapism. Sad to hear, man. See, I'm pretty. Now we know who this is. I'm still not convinced it's that person. I've seen pictures of your cats, Mimi. You put them in Discord, didn't you? They are very nice. I think I think it was yourself, you and Thanks for the host, Mimi. Was you and someone else were talking about your cats? Was it a uh, Viva? Viva the Hazy? Thanks for the host, we Maverick. Copycat. Erica. Right, so I think we justified or faced it. What did we do? I think we justified it. So we're going to let go tonight, I think. Is it the past? It's 
splash. Splash that I don't like. Right, now she's got a fox in her head. She comes into it later. I didn't notice that last week, obviously, because it was nothing to do with it. Do you know what? I'm going to unlock it. We're going to be friendly tonight. Help, because we confronted last time. Do you need any? I will still get the same reaction about you. Oh no, that was better. That was nicer. I think she spat as it last time. She spat as. That's good, I right? so that's the picture we chose and last week it was the, the wedding picture, that's nice. I know it's a simple thing, but still. Scary pictures. Right, so let's see if we can see anything that's like a, a clue. Because we know what's going to happen now, we have the, that gift. There's the lighter. Music. Shadowy figure. Top lawyer murdered. That was the same, wasn't it? Just in case. Yeah, we know we know what's in this box. That's not going to change. Dun, 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 dun. Miss Mason, I'm Sergeant Blake. There's Budget Colin, the lead investigator on this case. Can I see that? Hey, we're going to be a dick to this guy. I promise I'll give it back. Because we liked him last time. You draw this a lot. It's Greek, isn't it? The Delphic Epsilon. Same as with your father. How do you know that? I read your father's file. Well, maybe said that last time. Had to. We're going to be a dick to this guy. The hand belonged to a Kal Jahar. You worked at Delphi House? I believe you visited there with your father. Mystery. My dad worked there. Yes, he was one of its founders. Along with a man called Lucian Flowers. So again, that's kind of just tied right in. The flowers might be a target too. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's went the same way. Because there's Kate Blanchett. Look, we're keeping watch over at Delphi House. Protection detail. I'll be leading the investigation from there. Right now, it's the safest place for you too. Um, da 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 da. So anyone that's just joining me, I was all I was saying at the start, I wonder how much of it it branches out. I wonder how many possible kind of you know how how alternate the story's gonna be. 
or whether it's always just going to follow the same path with just slight wee detours, odd scenes here and there, slightly different, or whether you will miss out on big chunks. That's what I'm curious about. And the first, I think the first possible diversion, thank you very much, Lindsay. I think the first possible diversion is coming up here. And I think that would tell us how the whole game is going to go. Why would I ding the bell? We're probably I'm with him. Smoke. Wait here, I'll go check. No, it's not, it's just this, isn't it? That face. The other nurse, who's that? Lucien's bad. You, you thought he was bad, right? So they, here's the guys, right? Here's the pagan guys. Now this is the first major choice I think we've got. So it was phone or down here, and tonight we're going to go down here. Now this is where I want to know: is it going to branch out? quite a bit, or is she going to go down, not be able to see them, come back, and go in that room? That's what I want to know. Somebody in that room. There is somebody in that room. I'm look at the masks, I think. Again, see that, and you know... I now miss my chance to go in that room now. See, the fox is missing. Fox is missing. Where's the fox hat? Where's the fox hat? Why would you do that? What are you doing? Put that down. <coughs> it's not yours. Right, so that... Okay, so we've missed the room. No record of her anywhere. Right. Well, that was a waste of time. I see you found someone. I guess I should have just stayed put. Uh, masked girls. Those girls. They're wearing masks. They, they... Yeah. I'll check it out. I think it's some kind of therapy. Who are you? I'm Sergeant Blake. I'm leading the investigation. I'm supposed to meet a Dr. Ballard. I can only apologise. We're all a bit nervous here. Sergeant Blake, I'm... Rosa Ballard. I suppose you already know the Chief Inspector. Sir, this is Erica Mason. I'm sorry we're meeting in such difficult circumstances. Is there anything we can do to make you feel at home? Likewise, buddy. It's okay. I'm sorry too. Come on. I'll show you the way. So we missed loads of stuff in that room. We missed all the notes we found. Do you remember we found loads of notes? We found a file on your mum. I suppose you don't remember me. I worked with your father. I used to look after you when you were little. I remember you'd run around the basement looking for ghosts. 
He knew my parents. Of course. Your dad taught me everything I know. And your mum, she was incredible. Brilliant nurse. So smart. It's funny. Anyway. Anyway. This is you. You might recognise it. See, why, why would you put somebody in their old room in a mental institution? Mr. Steinbeck, the night manager, will be downstairs if you need anything. Do you know what I mean? Seems odd to me. Punch Drunk Theatre. I don't know if I have. Uh, the Wee Maverick maybe went to one of theirs. Are they very site specific and take you through a building and things like that? The name rings a bell. Yes, there you go. Wee Maverick's right here. Is that the one you took uh, Olive to, Me Maverick? Yeah. Oh, they've got one, ah, uh, you were telling me they've got a very famous one in New York. In a hotel. Ah. I like stuff like that. Oh, I often wanted to do a murder mystery like that. But I'd be arrested for the amount of scaring I'd, I'd want to do. I'd, I'd, I'd either get murdered or I'd get arrested. Because it, it would need to be real. It would need to be real. You went to the adult one? Wow. Olive wasn't with you. Ah, okay. The escape rooms, Bri. Yeah, they're good fun. The good. I. Uh, we did one for my birthday one year. It was good fun. Fun enough. Colin was running it. He was the. He was the voice. So it, it was it was extra special because he he would been character to begin with. And then just start slagging my wife Janice. It's good. No, Janice, you're nowhere near it. <laughs> just a voice coming over the speaker. No come to the bed. Uncle Lucy got you. Ah, oh, brilliant, we might have yeah. Should keep you out of trouble. That was quite funny, bro, yeah. <laughs> But they're good, they are good fun. They're good fun. We're a couple of pals, they're, they're, they're really good fun. I know the, know the murder mysteries, I want to do with Maverick. Honestly. Ooh, they, they cost a fortune. Spooky doll! Just like you. Right, so this has all been the same, apart from the fact that we've missed that room. Missed that room, so we no doll. <laughs> we missed that room, so we've missed the file on your mum. We missed all the stuff about the belongings going 
and getting sent back and all that kind of stuff. Hunters. There was hunters of stuff in that room. Still doesn't look like who they say it is. Oh, he doesn't do it anymore, Bry, unfortunately. He doesn't do it anymore. in the mirror, did we? <gasps> oh no, we didn't see that last time. What was that? <laughs> Spooky kid! We didn't see, we didn't see that last time. What's going on there? No, 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 no. Not the carpet. It's clean. Hey, uh, what were the choices? We went round the side last time. No, like, let's just fucking storm over it. Get that ring hey. you. Kirsty. Kirsty, I said you could help, but if you're going to be cleaning, I need to be here with you. No cleaning without supervision. So she gonna like us less now? She didn't really like us anyway. What? I think we asked for one. I'm gonna go straight in with fighting. Can you put that out? Does it upset you? Do you want to come here and talk about it? Come on, Toby. I'm trying to play. Leave the girl alone. <sighs> Whatever. More or less the same outcome. Hey, Deathwish. Over here. It's clever how they, they weave it together, though, with... Don't mind her. She's got emotional problems. You know, it still runs well. Hurry up and die, Hannah. I'm doing my best. What are you playing? This. Aria for Delphi by, um... Some guy. I don't know. Some dude. I've never heard of him. Here. Take a seat. Let me show you something. See this bit? It's simple. Four notes. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Never had well listen. Dun, dun, dun. I'll do it a wee, a wee break, right? Tried to help her last time. Calm down. No. Throw it under the bus. Get off. Get off. Just finish your first playthrough. Just Excellent. Get off. Get off. Get off. Stop struggling, you're making it worse. I'm gone. I'm gone. Again, same outcome, same outcome, really. How did you enjoy it, Sherry? It's okay. Spooky bus. 
Master, please. Need it in the main office. Come in. Right. For you, Bray. Imagine a nearly bug it strip show. A nearly bug it? So spooked. It's a spooky, it's a spooky, spooky game. A spooky game. So we're deliberately going the opposite of what we did last week, basically. Oh my God. Just every option that we can remember, we're doing a different one. Erica Mason. You look just like your mother. Last time we met, you could barely see over the desk. Of course, Bri, of course. I'm Lucian Flowers. I set this place up with your father. Go right in with the doll. He gave me a doll when I was little. <laughs> I hope it was the right one. Did you sleep okay? I know the old place can take a bit of getting used to. Bit of drama, bit of drama, drama. It's, uh, it's quite intense. The girls can have some difficult days, but we do good work here. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I hope you don't mind, but I brought you something. So the mesh thing is at the moment, accurate. That there's it was your kind of father's roots to go, but it's your always taking you. On their wedding day. It's always taking you up to a, a path and a line. So sorry, the mesh thing isn't working. Is what I'm, I mean to say. It's not completely opening it up. It's it's detouring you to come back to the story again. We've got another big choice coming up as well. That will affect what happens. I just kept hold of it. Hey. There's budget calling. <laughs> that was not my doing. I was just getting an update from forensics. Erica, it's extremely likely whoever killed your father killed Mr. Johar. There may be some other victims as well that we don't know about. I doubt it, mate. It's likely they'll try and kill again. Well, no light and budget calling today. Uh, there's no public appeal. Nothing in the press. The chances of this being a copycat are extremely low. Honestly, we don't have much to go on. But Mr. Flowers has a suggestion. It might help you remember the face of your father's killer. Shutting up. You're older Zip. Now. Stronger. It's like therapy. It was developed by your father. It's completely painless. Perfectly safe. Is it though? I, I'm resisting. I can't tell. I'm sorry. Erica, please. There are too many similarities with your father's case for it to be a coincidence. If we can get a description, we can put an end to this. No. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't. It's okay, Erica. We understand. Do you, though? Do you? Eh? Yeah. Right, so again, that's jumped the scene that we got. 
It's essentially just jumped it all. Oh, mind you, no, we didn't get this, did we? Go for the fox. End of game. <laughs> A fox in the daylight. As bold as brass. So that's what we got instead of the this, this scene. Your mother told me this place was her whole life. And then it joined it here. So again, it's bringing us back to that main fell line. Here. Fell in love here. Who the fuck's that? And you here? <laughs> Later. He died here. This guy's good though. He's good at the part, isn't he? I'm so sorry, Erica. I should have been there for you. I should have done more. I'm going to blame him. He's just a little girl. Ah, we're being, we're being, anyone. we're being difficult tonight. I thought about myself. I was selfish, destructive. There's no excuse. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on. I want to show you something. It's a nice coat though, isn't it? That's is good, isn't it, Colin? That is Indeed. all round, it's all right. So essentially all we've done so far is we've missed two big chunks. Aye, she is good, because it's a kind of pish part, isn't it? It's one of these ones that is just, it's hard work as an actor. There's a lot of kind of looking sad and looking mournful and things like that, looking frightened. Lots of looks. Stuff that you can't be arsed doing. <laughs> we Khaleesi. <laughs> your father had the oleander planted in your mother's memory they were her favorite they've always brought us luck now last week we kind of befriended her sometimes the girls have difficult days but some of us like to keep it buried deep down inside so i'm going to make it as i didn't think you'd be up this is Eric. Try my very best not okay. to be her pal. Let's see where that gets us. Toby by heroically bleeding all over the piano. I'm taking these to Doc Ballard. We're making perfume. Do you want to come? Uh, Fuck off! What is wrong with you? Oh, you could always go hang out with Toby. Actually, they're about to serve lunch. It's quite a spread. Why don't you go and grab yourself a bite and maybe meet some of the other girls? Let's go and make some perfume. Who doesn't love a good old soggy sandwich in the company of strangers? Is that a euphemism? Okay, perfume sounds, sounds good. They used oleander at Delphi in ancient Greece, for they thought it gave the power of second sight. It was set on fire, the fumes inhaled. Priestess saw visions of the future. That links it back to the start, you see. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Oh. They could have just soaked it, made one hell of a perfume. I'd rather see the future than smell good. Hello, Dancing Toaster. Erica's the one. Can you get the matches out of the desk? Please? That's Erica. Top left drawer. Oh. oh let's do the lighter. Use my lighter. Oh my. You see that? That was me and a drop of sulfuric acid. Your dad was so angry. He kicked me out of the lab. What did you do? Your mum told him off. And he let me back in. Kate Hopkins. I hate Kate Hobson. Hopkins man. Yeah, that's what she said. 
You do the honors. How are you, Dancing Twister? Are you well? Now, all we have to do is wait. Oh. Luckily for you girls, here's one I prepared earlier. Put that by your bed. And I promise you the sweetest of dreams. So this is all new. We, we never got the perfume stuff at all really last time. Some Good to hear, Dancing Toaster. Boots and Burners, you remember Boots and Burners? We certainly seen things like this last week, but I don't think it was here. I think it was much later on. I'm going to take a comfort break. See you in two minutes. Thanks for hanging around, guys. Uh, Bry, there's no difference. No difference. I don't even know if there's loading difference. Excuse me. Um, I, I presume the game is at 
you know, presented in HD anyway. So it's going through the capture card anyway, so it's it's going to be HD at the maximum. But I I can't imagine it's at four K. Anyway, so other than that, there's no difference. Other than that, I'm using a different controller. There's no difference at all. My mother was a princess. Well, yeah, well, yes, possibly, possibly. Super sensitive it is. I meant for myself. The difference between this last week and your PS4 and this, I, other than the controller, no different at all. No different at all. Jeez, finally. Get up. You've got mail and it looks expensive. Okay, so we, we got to this point, but they, they shouted us in. We were speaking to Toby, they oh, shouted us in. Big one. So it wasn't like the next day, was so it? Pretty. Oh, it was because ah, because you went upstairs with Toby and get drunk. That's what it was. You get drunk and you passed out, and then you woke up to this. Given I've not had more than a PS5 games with the console, I've not missed anything. No, I don't know what you mean, Bry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jesus, it's hideous. Be careful. What you got there, little doll doll? <laughs> Some of them are, Bri. Some of them are. Uh, Hannah? Yuzi. You were here last week, Yuzi, you know what's going on. Alright, it's the doorman's arm. Spooky guy! Alright, so some of the PS4 Bottom games are better, Brian. Just depends. Some of them run at higher frame rate, things like that. But yeah. this is just running Take a look at this. as is. Yeah. That's Carl Steinbeck's place. The night manager. Suspicious? Looking at the photo. Suspicious. Look at the photo. Suspicious. Look at the photo. Got a team there now. He's missing. Uh, why that symbol? Why did he have that symbol tattooed in his arm? It used to be on a sign out front. It's from the Temple of Apollo. At We're Delphi. digging our heels in with us. Their motto was, know thyself. No doubt thought it would be good for us too. After he died, we took the signs down, but Carl's tattoo remained. Is he dead? There's no body. But it doesn't look good. Budget Colin. Budget Colin, no Budget business. Khaleesi. <laughs> Why send the doll? Spooky doll. Uh, it's a gift from Lucian. Uh, it was a gift from... Lucian. I'm tying it to you, mate. To me before my father died. Erica used to spend so much time here, there weren't any other children. I always tried to smuggle her some toys or a treat. This was one of many. We're gonna have to go back to your flat. Sus. I need you to have a look around. Make sure there's nothing else missing. You can grab some extra clothes, whatever else you need. Looks like he might be here for yeah. a while. What Colin says. Right, so again, we're here. We're still following that line. 
Uh, we've missed being in the room. We've missed the therapy session. That's. Uh, we missed being pals with Toby. We've not really gained much, to be honest. We've gained the perfume thing. But the... We saw the fox, that was all. We've not gained much else. There's another couple of big choices coming up as well here. It's interesting though. It's interesting though seeing it differently. I'll go check if the neighbours saw anything. And it's fun playing her in a different way. We're kind of digging our heels in this week, whereas last week we were kind of wanting to be everybody's friend and, and kind of being a bit more timid. This week we're being a bit more digging our heels in and being difficult and things. So we looked at the picture last time, so let's look at the book. The door will be forced open. The door is about to be forced open. Kick it in, Colin. Oh. Oh. We missed that last time. Right, now we followed them last time. So. Is it given. Was... It didn't give us a choice? It didn't give us a choice this time? Interesting. Interesting. I was going to stay, I know. Ah, nice call. As I say, it's no desperately different. It's just we're, we're missing out on key information. And the when you first get to Delphi House and you see the pagans running down the corridor and the phone's ringing, did you answer the phone or follow the pagans calling? And Sherry Bobbins, of course. Uh, I think we went to the fridge first last time, so we'll go here. Oh, found him. We followed the pagans. Right, okay, so we followed the pagans this time as well. But last time, oh, we're on a timer here. up here. Um, last week we answered the phone and it meant we were getting to the back room and we found loads of stuff like a file on your mother, there was all notes, there was a key, a whole, whole th host of things and this time we didn't get a chance to see it. So we've missed that, if you know what I mean. Well, I mean, you know, I mean. Hey. Right, hey, so what? there we've missed everything in the fridge. Hey, you're being stalked by a psycho killer. Is that true? Hey, she's been after you since you were a kid. You're sick. Yeah. They're going to shave off my hair and poke around my brain. But uh, on the plus side, the drugs are great. I've been dreaming of flowers. Oleander falling from the sky. In the morning... This is new. When I looked in my hand and... The Time to go. God damn it, Katie Hopkins. In the bedside cabinet, in the box. I was holding them when I woke up. Here we are. 
Ooh. Don't worry. I'll take good care of her. That does not look like a comfy bed, does it? So we didn't see this last week. I presume it's going to be petals. She's not coming back. I've seen it before. Nosebleeds. The fits. She's dying. <laughs> the GI. No one's saying it, but you know it's true. Give me that. There were no Toby's pal tonight. still did come in. Is, did she see this? I can't remember if we got to this. Don't go, I know. I see them in my sleep. Pink petals falling. This is interesting. We're getting to the story a lot quicker. We're getting to the nitty gritty a lot quicker, aren't we? The nitty gritty. Just like uh, I'm going to comfort. It's, it's okay. I don't want to confess. I don't want to tell her anything. Where's Hannah? She's gone. Hannah's gone. Get into it. Ah, this is definitely quicker than last time, year, isn't it? Most of what we got is back in the lab. But there's a couple of things we'd like you to look at. There's no need to worry. The chief inspector asked that we do it here. Uh, not the station. Why aren't we doing it at the police station? You've been through enough, Eric. Uh, we just want you to be as comfortable as possible. Come on in. Kettle's on. Who is that? I know that guy. I don't think I looked it up, did I? It's mental last week. As soon as he came in, right at the start, I said that guy's Scottish. I knew it. Is that her? Is that her? Alright, let's see it because we said something's missing. That's her, mate. Yes, that's her. Okay, good. What about this? We found it in her apartment. Who's that? And who's that? Her name is Mia Green. That's Mia. Her name is Mia Green. But who's the one beside her? She was a patient at Delphi House. She was very close to your mother. She was very protective of her. Sometimes aggressively so. What was wrong with her? Well, I think I said that last time. Difficult, sometimes violent. Her childhood was extremely unpleasant. Your mother's friendship gave her great comfort. Erica. The night your mother died, Mia Green broke into the dispensary. She took an overdose and died. Mm. 
You're lying. You're lying. I'm afraid not. We are investigating the possibility that there's been some mistake. This is all still forcing me into the same. We filed an order with the judge way. to exhume the body. And until then, I'm going to have to keep you at Delphi House. Do you need some help? No, no, I've got it. Blake, would you mind? Hello, Chief Inspector's house. Corker residence. Yes, this is Sergeant Blake. Right away. I've got to go. There's an intruder at Delphi House. I'm coming with you. Not you. It's not safe. Not you. I'm insisting. I insist. I'm going. No, Erica. He's right. There's nothing you can do. Erica, you okay? You're bleeding. Go, go. I'll look after him. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure you will, begin. Bathroom through there. Down the hall. Can't miss it. I need to look that guy up. I need to know who he is. He's got his guys eating pity. Doing loads of stuff, including Lame Miz, but he's also in the Dark Knight, which is what I'm recognising from. Right, okay. Did we look out the window last time? I think we did. Uh, it forces out. We go out the door anyway at some point, don't we? Fox. What's the fox eating though? Got there, buddy. Oh, I wonder if we went out the door first, that wouldn't happen. Ah, we'd, wouldn't it happen there or something? <laughs> gangs in New York? Well, maybe gangs in New York. Die another day. Oh, the film nearly killed James Bond. been a murder. Right, yeah, we knew that. And Grange Hill, there you go. Um, we look, did we look at that last time? I think we did, didn't we? Uh, did, we look, oh, did we look at the notebook? Ah, we did, didn't we? Ah, I've remembered it now. Blah, 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 blah. Number, number, numbers. I feel I know him though. I wonder if I've met him. I wonder if he's been at a workshop or something. Hello, Erica. See, that's not who's in your mind. Did you like what I left here? Dispel, uh, 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 fear. Let's go fear. What do you want from me? We're not gonna, because we piled up with her last week. We were her pal. We're gonna fight everything about her. They were in it together. I'd never hurt you. Don't come near me. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to protect you. Get 
away from me. Your father made me a monster. He took your mother and locked her away. He sold his soul to the devil and she was the price. 2008? There's another world beneath Delthy House. Secret passages and hidden doors to get you there. I gave you the medallion, the key to everything, but you gave it away. When did we give it away? But there's another. It's right there in front of you. When did she give us it? It's interesting because at this point last week we knew where one was. There's an old farm out in the woods between here and Delphi House. I'll wait for you there. Come alone. I get I give what away? What are you talking about, Yuzi? Oh, was it Bri? Right, okay. There was no one here. Just one of the girls trying to break into the pharmacy. Just going to dismiss that. Sure. If any were there, everything would have been okay. right there I don't know what to tell you there's someone buried in her grave we have a team out there now they'll run some tests and then we can be sure got a new to sight from orbit it's the only way to be sure some sleep. you'll be safe here I promise you both know that's not true said that last week Don't worry. 100% Bray. Only way to be sure. Are you sure she didn't say anything? Anything that could help us find her? Tell the truth, I said we lied last week, I'm sure. Oh, now this is interesting. This could be fit in a whole new way. Because last week we sided with Mia Green. We, we, when I was on her side, we went in with her. We don't want to be on his side, but let's not be on her Wait. side. Stay quiet. Keep the doors locked and your head down. I'll be back soon. Okay, yeah, I'll just stay with him. Just sit tight. You'll be safe here. Just try not to make a mess. What's in your glove box, Mr. Man? Oh, I know what's in your glove box, never mind the radio.
Kill it with fire. What's that you got there, budget Colin? Oh, it's your notebook, right? Have a wee peek, Erica. Have a wee peek. What we got here? AJ's mail 38. So cut similar in chest. That threat's too soon. Erica Mason. Uh huh, uh huh. Relocate Delta House, trace box, and delivered. We're purchased child witness to protection. Uh, witness to Peter Mason's murder. No suspects, trauma blocked memory, withdrawn, intense nightmares remain. Remain. Or well, nightmares remain. Teenage years. Regression therapy may unlock mess. Man, no, we didn't do that, mate. We didn't do that. What? EM rejects procedure. Don't say. Not uncommon. Fear primal waking nightmare. Whoa! Missing EM AG and contact with EM substance abuse. LF, who's LF? Oh, that's Lucian, isn't it? Not trust suspect theft. Uh, uh. Whoa, yo! Discover his body mutilated. Park door next door. Consult Lucius. Or the doc, Katie Popkins. Erica is under suspicion. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. There's a light inside, but I couldn't see anyone. Erica, no, don't read that. Too late, buddy. It's not personal. It's my job. I'm hurt. I killed him. If Hot I call him, I wouldn't be here. It's my job to look at the facts. You've hurt me, Colin. You've pushed me. If it's not me. It'll be someone else. But why did it have to be you, Colin? I'm here because I trust you. I'm here to catch her. We can do it together. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. And with your bad knee, you shouldn't be throwing anyone. Oh, jank, Bri, jank. Did you see the end last week, Bri, or did you have to go? I can't remember. All right. All right. So this, this whole section here is all new. This wasn't here last week. He did come here, but it was later on. Well, Brian, that, that crossed my mind last week. Uh-huh. Find anything? What is it? My... My mother. Mother? What else is in your box? I think we saw this last time, didn't we? Careful. This stuff is a powerful hallucinogen. How'd you know? How'd you know, mate? Come on. Visions of the future for wealth, 
and power. But they cannot see without a butterfly. That's why they took your mother. That's why they want you. So we saw this last week. She's trapped, Erica. Join me. I'm going to refuse. No. I think this is what happened last week as well. He didn't love you. He was grooming you to take your mother's place. Is that what you want? Because that's what will Or will you join me? Together we can rule the galaxy's father and son. And destroy Lucian and set your mother free. No. Yeah. What happened that? You killed him. You ruined my life. 100% use it. You, Erica. It's always been you. We got here as well. We did get here. She would tell me about the future. Wonderful things. She could see. I'd tell her about the past, about a great priestess marked with a butterfly. So that that last week we got to this point as well, and this is where I gave in and started being her pal, basically. How did I get here? So I'm still going to fight it. See what happens with this. Your father made it. Breathe it in. And I can make you do anything. I can turn you into a murderer. I can make you cut your own throat. Put that by your bed. And I promise you the sweetest of dreams. So this was all different memories, if you know what I mean. I suppose it must be one strand of it. You know, depending on which way you go, it must. Obviously show you the bits you've seen, rather than random bits. My father had the oleander planted in your mother's memory. They were her favourite. You see them in my sleep? What is Would You Kindly? Is that some sort of drama game? I'm taking these to Doc Ballard. We're making perfume. Or Bioshock Great. <laughs> 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 oh. 
What do you think he burned in that lamp, Erica? What do you think it did to you? Dun, 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 dun. I'm dying. Alice, we're no being a pal. You deserve it. Yes, I do. But your friends are innocent, and so is your mother. <laughs> your mother had that mark. It's why your father wanted her. It's why they want you too. A girl to stare into the flames and see the future. You're insane. And you're blind. He was one of them. See for yourself. She's very convincing to be fair. doesn't look like she's lying, you know what I mean? She believes what she's saying. She's a hundred percent being truthful, Your I'd father say. father convinced Lucian that by adding science to ritual they could see into the future and control it. Your mother was the missing piece. <laughs> you liar! All I've shown you, after all you've seen, how can you stand there and do nothing? How can you let them get away with it? I don't believe in killing. But they do, and they won't let anyone get in their way. Took you to Delphi House. Who kept you there? He would have killed me and taken you back. They're making it very difficult for me not to go with her. You don't have to trust me. But you know there's something going on here. If I'm wrong, then you can stop me. But if I'm right, only you can put an end to this. Get away from me. I will never go with you. So what's really interesting is we've we've not even found like the you know the uh, the underground stuff yet. Which we found fairly early on with Toby. So we we are unaware of everything that's going on down below. Tight layer sex tape. Is it going to force us to do it? Is it going to force us? <laughs> Excuse me. Like it. I don't like it. You can't take any chances. Find the door. It's in your father's office. Take this. 
promise me? If you need it, use it. Do I take it at all, though? I'm not a killer. Promise me. Nah, no being your pal tonight, hen. Sorry, it's difficult. So that was interesting. So we had a big kind of, not an action sequence, but a, 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 a whole thing of them sneaking in and we set off that alarm last time. That is me wiping away the screen, yes. That's why I'm like that. Honest. Stop <laughs> There's a wee hole. Just a different door. We didn't go in this door last time. that you could get it for the other side. That was unnecessary, pal. It's interesting, it's interesting to see how different it is and I'm, I'm actually surprised, even though it's still taking you on the same line, you're, you're going to get to the same point, essentially. I'm, I'm amazed at how much is different. So we saw this last week. You can't be in here. Toby needs her treatment. Actually, let's, le let's leave her. Down. Leave her alone. So we saw this last week, but we've, in this story, we've got no idea what it is. Because we, we did this last last they time. Found a body in the garden. I think you might be unwell. Please, let me help you. Get out of here. Yeah, so we went through therapy last time, so we know what this is. But in Toby. our story today, we've got no idea what's going on. I shouldn't on. be here. I just couldn't leave Toby. We have to wake her up. You have to take the tubes out. <laughs> now, do something. We know how to help her for, because of last week. <laughs> But will we deliberately pick the wrong one? Whoopsie daisy. Don't say what have you done, because it was not, I mean, it was nothing to do with me. He's gone. 
<laughs> situation is not approved. You killed her. It's not me, Kirsty. It's them. I know. I know what drug to give her because I I know from last week. But I only know because of last week. I, I can't. I, I had to. to pick, I had to pick the wrong one. I had to pick the wrong one. <laughs> oh, such a dog. So last last week's play, we'd been down here already. We knew what was going on. This is the first we've seen it. I was a one-armed man. It was a one-armed man. Harrison Ford, by the way. What's happened? It was my one-armed man. It's me. Please. Shoot him. Shoot him. Put the gun down. <laughs> whatever's happened, whatever's the matter, we can work it out. Right, we're essentially playing that we trust no one. Help me. Uh, just talk to me. What's happening here? That's a good tie, isn't it? He's got good clothes, that guy. This is a hospital. Nothing more. <laughs> now I can, please. This is not making any sense. You need to calm down. You're scaring me. I think you might be sick. I think you need help. You're lying. Why would I lie to you? Tell me that. Let me help you. That's all I ever wanted. You're dangerous. More dangerous than you know. I don't believe you. I believe anything you say. You don't have to believe me. You broke in here with a gun. That you're pointing right at me, contemplating murder. <gasps> I don't think this is the first time you felt this way. <gasps> I think you need help. Oh, he's very good, isn't he? Oh, Jesus. My God, what have you done? I'm not crazy. I don't think you can tell the difference. I think you need help. Steady. Please. Oh, please don't give me a choice. Put the gun down. Your green is dead, Erica. It's in your head. It's a fantasy. It goes against every fiber of my being. Now, we didn't get to see this last week because I fannied it. We, we, we found it the first time. We had the option to go in or go or run away. And I find I did the wrong thing. I wanted to go in and my fucking controller did the opposite. Chop shit away. <laughs> We've not seen inside this room yet. Well, we have, but we haven't. Oh no, we haven't because it's the whale we see, isn't it, in the in the flashbacks? <gasps> Is it your maw? 
Were we right? Is the moth still there? It doesn't let you go in the first time, is it not? Or does he get interrupted or something? We saw a figure when we walked in there. There was a figure. It doesn't let you go in the first time. <laughs> Don't like. What are you lighting it for? You maddy? I'm sure we saw a figure when we came in, like a kind of angelic type figure up high. That's why I was like, is it your maw? Like that. That's what you saw when you walked in. I only watch that back in the stream. That's what you saw. Release me. Or did I have a premonition there? Set me free. That's not what she said. That said, set me. She said, set me free, but the subtitle said, become the butterfly. Okay, it's just, just a wee mistake. It's all right. Find me. Brian because last week we found out he was all in on it he was working with the doctor with Katie Hopkins who are these three though I'd always thought that it was the doctor the policeman and the uh, Lucian Twenty point cheesy. <laughs> the fly ascends, madness embraced, girl to stare into the fire and see the future. Interesting. Interesting. That. That was. 
a bit more satisfying, I would say, than the, the last week. So if you didn't see his last week, I decided to trust Lucian. So instead of killing him, I lowered my gun. And he essentially embraced you and was like, it's all right, we'll make you better, we'll make you better. And that's how it ended. Same again next week. <laughs> it's kind of tempting, Sherry Bob. I was, I was amazingly, I was surprised at how different it was. It, the first half of it was very similar. It was, it was as if we were just missing key points. So we missed going in the room at the start, as I said. We, we followed the guys down the corridor and found the masks. So we missed going in the room, we found, missed finding out a bit more information. By not befriending Toby, we didn't find out about the loft, so we didn't find out about the door, so we never saw anything of the kind of ritualistic stuff until the very end there when we saw Lucian. We didn't take the, the, the therapy, so we didn't see anything about that. So it's, I felt that we were just missing out and stuff. There was very little in its place. You know, there was there was a bit more of a fox theme through that story, which was nice. Um, but it felt like we were just missing out. But then the second half, the moment we said to the policeman, I know where she's going to be. And we went and with the policeman to the barn rather than on her own. I, I mean, it was... Apart from the scene with Mia Green in the house, the kind of very blue, dark, dark scene, it was all completely different because we didn't become her friends. It was really different. It's Detroit all over again, I know, man. I know. Did you get another ending? A, a totally different one? Wow. This is tempting. Did you find the body bag? Uh, we found that last week, I think. Yeah, I think we found that last week. Did we? I'm sure we did. It was in the kind of perfumey room. Yeah. It's not talking about the game. <laughs> So I, so I was amazed at how different it was and how much how much it changed who Erica was. Last week we were very timid, we were very weak. We were just trying to kind of work it out and kind of feel our way. Whereas this week we were very much like, no, nah, I don't believe you. No, you're lying. It's no me, it's you kind of thing. And it, it did, it, it worked. It's that I think that's one of the real triumphs with a game like this that works is that it's no matter what strand you go down, it's, it still works. The, the the visuals that you're seeing, so the the visuals that we saw of our with the gun on Lucian, aside from a few kind of different choices we made, everything was very much the same but it all worked still even though we were given different answers we were telling him he's lying we weren't kind of being weak it still worked it's very cleverly made it's very well done <laughs> how do you know I've got a back door Brian? <laughs> very good very good I'm very impressed with this I mean I mean Honestly, Sherry, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to do a third one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's stream material to do a third playthrough of it. But then, <gasps> it's tempting. I, I don't know how much we could do differently. So how did you? How did you get a different ending? Well, that's what I, we Maverick, that's what I said I would do this week, and when it got to today, I was a bit like, nah, I'm going to do it. So maybe I will pull it for next week to see what's what. Did you, Sherry Bobbins and Colin, did you... No. Did you still end up in the... Ah, you did, because you killed him. You killed him first time, right. Wow. So how did you get... 
Because from that point, that point there wasn't any choices, was there? There's a choice once you picked up the lamp. Oh, right, okay, I, I, and I pushed up. Right, I've got you, I've got you. If not, but he's playing something like Detroit. Okay, okay. I mean, Detroit is a, a longer one. What I like about this is you can do it in one stream. And you can just, you know, it's like it's like watching a film, essentially. So it's, it's very much a stream thing. So I quite like that about it. Whereas Detroit is obviously a bit of a bigger game. I can clamber through the ghost. Tempting though. Never make a sound. Detroit is good. If you've not played Detroit, become human. It's it's really good. That is really good. I would it would be a, a a weekly thing. You know what I mean? That'd be a about a six weeks one or whatever. But that works for the Monday nights. The Monday nights are quite good for that. And it's becoming a wee bit of a a theme for my Monday night to do some sort of episodic thing, so, you know, I'm not ruling it out, buddy. I, I'm trying to remember if I could recall what I chose in Detroit and how I went and try and see if I could do it differently. I mean, you, you get the tree, don't you? You can see the tree, so you could, you could deliberately make different choices. Thanks for watching with me again, everyone. It's been great fun. This also got a lot quicker. We got to the point a lot, lot quicker. It felt like ages before we got to the the Chief Inspector's house. I felt there was a lot more stuff. Even, even after it, there was less. It was, it was quicker all in. I mean, that was, what, maybe about an hour, 40 minutes? I think it was it was two and a half hours last week. Now, I know we did the comedy stopping it for everyone that was coming in late, but it wasn't 40 minutes worth, do you know what I mean? Mr. Flynn walks in at the end. God damn it. God damn it, Flavor damn it. Telltale, yeah, um, Telltale stuff's okay. I, I get a wee bit annoyed with Telltale stuff, to be honest. <laughs> Mr. Flynn wandering in at the end. Man of Medan, yeah, I've not played any of the Man of Medans. I noticed um, the first one, whatever it was called. Not Little Hope, that was the one that was just out there. Man of Medan. Oh, Man of Medan is. Aye, it's the Dark Pictures Eye. Man of Medan is the first one. <sighs> That's on Game Pass. Start that game for Neil, right? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Flynn. It was night. Well, you, you caught the kind of tail end of last week, didn't you? You could have came in about, about 10, 15 minutes to go, didn't you? Big I mean, oh, there was a lot of soundtrack in it, wasn't there? We got the exact same choices. So this was a completely different ending, Mr. Flynn. A completely different ending. That was good. We're just discussing that we might play it again next week and, and do different things again. <laughs> It's very silly. It's worth a wee play, Mr. Flynn. Oh, Mr. Flynn, while I've got you, I meant to whisper to you, actually. We were talking the other day about um, playing different region games. I uh, And you were asking about the PS5. I, I, turns out my golf game is American. And it works on my PS5. So all I had to do was play it once with my American account. Then that unlocks it for the, the console and I can now play it in my normal account. So it does work. It does work. You get the plat if you keep going. <gasps> Don't tempt me, Frodo. Hold on. Do you need us all to mute the sound if you mean to whisper to him? Ooh, <laughs> oh, no worries, Mr. Flynn. I, I, as I say, I meant to whisper it to you earlier on, but I didn't get a chance. Um, it does work. It works fine. So, batter in. The only thing is, uh, you, you need to, you know, if you want to play online, uh, obviously you've got a PS Plus account, so if you, you know, if you've got a lot of PS Plus games on your Canadian account, they won't transfer over to your, your normal one, I don't think, because you'll need to be logged into your PS Plus, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? So, say you had uh, Erica on PS Plus, 
and you had uh, you, you wanted to play that on your EU PS5 you couldn't play it with your EU account you'd have to play it in your the one that had it on PS Plus if that makes sense but then of course you could start a new one start an EU one and start collecting them on that and then if you wanted to go back you can chop and change between accounts and all that Gavin and Luff Gavin and Luff thank you for the sub seven months Whoop. thank you very much Gavin seven months sub beautiful nice to see you nice to see you Fall Guys is the only one you got. Okay, okay, yeah. Fall Guys is good fun. I've not played Fall Guys in ages. He's Gavin a laugh! <laughs> He's back, baby! <laughs> well, that was interesting. So... Possibly next week then. Possibly next week we'll do a third playthrough. I didn't see that coming. When I picked this last week, I didn't see three playthroughs coming. But it kind of works. Show him some Astro Bot or something. Right, okay. Show him some Astro Bot or something. Do I see some Astro Bot? Right. I'll do a speedrun, right? That's what I'll do. Uh, hold on. Hold the bus. Hold the bus. <laughs> I'll do a wee couple of speedruns, right? So you can see Astro Bot. The real, the real gift with Astro Bot, though, is, the, is actually playing it. Actually using the controller. Feeling it. Do you want to see my room, Colin? Wait till you see my room. No, I've not got box snacks in installed. Look at all that stuff I've got. Pure Wadza stuff, man. And what's great is you can interact with it all. So, look at this wee guy. This is my, my favourite guy at the moment. So this is Astro Bot. Playroom, this is like the, one of the, the game you get free with the PS5 essentially, but it shows off the dual sense really well because it uses all the features. But this wee guy carrying these is my, is my favourite at the moment because. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll just keep picking them up. He doesn't learn that wee guy. You're not learning, buddy. Oh, oh no! Let's be guy over here. Fire. Oh, so I saw so the, the the game itself. It's more of a game than you think it would be. Um, has got kind of big levels, and the levels take forever. They take about, I mean, they take me about half an hour to play. I think. But it looks like each level is going to be dedicated to. Uh, a generation. So you've got the original PS1, you've got PS2, I'm just saying you've got PS3 and PS4. Um, and you, you collect artifacts, so you find artifacts in it. And you also find like wee bits of jigsaw. So there's loads of wee collectibles. But it's, it's an immensely fun wee game. But I'll do a wee speedrun, you can kind of see what the actual game's like. So this is where, where, this is where all your collectibles go. Uh, oh, I think I've got coins. We can go up and do one of these. Ah, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Find some horses, jeez -o. So you collect coins as well, and you can come and spend them in this. And this is good because you can feel it in the, the triggers, the, the resistance. And these will give you wee, wee unlocks as well that you can use. So that's me moving it with the motion control. And then that 
will then be in this room somewhere. Yeah, he's over there. That's not him, no. You know, it's just, it's just a lovely wee... There he is. A nice wee homage to, to PlayStation down the years, which is really nice. So that's that's the kind of collectibles room. It's, it's, it's great fun. It really is good fun. Um, and then you've got CPU Plaza. Uh, CPU Plaza here. And again, like the, the Astro stuff before, <laughs> you know, you, you can annoy this wee guy. <laughs> so these are levels. So you get the CPU, the GPU jungle. What's that called again? Cooling Springs. Uh, that's the SSD highway or something and something else. But down here, you get the network speedrun. So these are ones, once you've done the levels, you can unlock these. Um, and it's like we, we, we can have time trials basically for wee levels. But I get this is all about the, the controller. So I can feel that rain. You're just trying to get to the end as quickly as possible. So yeah, so you can feel in the controller, you can feel the rain tip tapping on the umbrella. Oh no! Oh, that was lucky. But it's, it's an addictive wee game. We could be here all night now. It's a mistake. The mistake you make is you put this up and you've got to just keep going. No matter what. Until it's done. Oh! Good lord. Do you know, and... and as I said, the, the actual real levels are pretty huge. They're, I don't know, Colin, you've you've done one as well. It's maybe like in a five regions, but it's it, it's a uh, not just platform stuff. Oh no, no, no! You can uh, like you've got wee rocket stuff where you can uh, go in and you zip yourself into a wee rocket and. Uh, You've also got one where you're a ball, and you have to roll. You have to roll yourself and not fall off the edge and things. You know, it looks like each level's gonna get a wee gimmick of some kind. Huzzah! Absolutely, yeah. 
<laughs> it's far too stressful for Sunday Social, Bri. I'm sweating. I'm sweating just doing that one level. I used levels for 15 20 minutes, yeah. Yeah, and there's there's loads of wee Easter eggs and things. Uh, I could show you very quickly, I could show you this. So this is like the wee ball. Yeah, if I don't get this first time, I'll just quit it. But you're using the touchpad for this to push. Yeah, you've just got to try and stay in the black for this. The sand slows you down and you can feel you can feel it. Like Colin says, you know, it feels like what you're on, so I'm getting loads of bumps at the moment. So I'm using the touchpad completely to do this. So I'm, I'm just kind of slipping, sliding. So like a trackpad, basically. First time, eh? Boom! New record. Boom! <laughs> so it's great! It's, it's really good fun. It's really good fun. Colin, you need to go on that. I want people on my... Uh, on my leaderboard so I can find out. <laughs> I've played more of it than you, Colin, to be fair. So it's great fun! Oh, do you know, if you've watched my stream, if you've watched my stream, I'll have showed you this already. But Colin showed you about the UI and all that. My favourite thing about the UI, Astro's Playroom. Let's go see what Red Dead's saying. Do you know what I mean? Simple things. Simple things. Go to Tsushima. That's just a menu. That's just a menu. So little things like that make it really nice. I was saying Friday, that's worth the 400 bucks alone. That, that feature. So yeah, it's good. I mean, you know, I'm extremely lucky to have a PS5. Extremely lucky in more ways than, than I, I'd like to count. Um, but it's great to be able to stream for it. And uh, if you ever get a chance to get one, do pick it up because it's a great machine. It's, it's great how the reviews are kind of coming in and they're saying, you know, on paper, the Xbox is, is more powerful. It's got better tools to deal with what they need to deal with. Uh, and all that jazz, but the PlayStation 5's just better to play, and it's kind of true. It's kind of true. A wee bit worrying that the biggest game on launch is a remaster of an old game, but Colin said it's brilliant, so, you know what I mean. Haven't got Ghost installed yet? Mm. Do you know what I didn't notice, other than the 60 frames thing? So Ghost of Tsushima does have a PS5 kind of update, um, or well, it's got an enhancement. It's not really an update, and uh, I, to be honest, I didn't notice much of a loading difference time-wise. Because Ghost of Tsushima's got a great loading time anyway, but it's, it's smooth as a baby's butt. You can st out of all the games I've played so far, that's the one that goes, "I'm sixty frames. Look how smooth I am." It's as if it's like, um. It's, it's as if it's uh, higher than 60 frames. Demon's Souls isn't a remaster. No, it's not a remaster. A remake, I should say. A remake. Is that GTA? Uh, no, I've not got GTA installed on here. Same PS4, though the Xbox One X came out. Uh, so did the PS4 Pro, though. That was the kind of compatible to the X1 X. What are you saying? I was saying once the Xbox One X came out. I thought it was launch game, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Flynn. Uh, 
GTA is not a launch game. No, it's um, I don't think it's coming till next year. Uh, I I don't think it's coming till next year. You, I I don't even know if it's got an a kind of patch in it just now. Uh, but it's it's coming free. It's free to everybody on PS Plus, as far as I know. Anywho, Bry, no, but the side. The side the One X came, it was more powerful machine, but the PS4 was better to console to play, to give you more unique and fun experience. Ah, okay, okay. I, I've never played an Xbox One X. Oh, that's, that's a lie, I have, I have. Cyberpunk soon, yes. Do you know, I watched a video about Cyberpunk, it was like IGN's final preview, and that's the first time I've watched it in a long time and went, this looks quite good. It will be very nice on PS5, right? Free online for three months in PS5. What do you mean without PS Plus? Is that what you mean, Colin? What do you mean, Colin? Is everybody that's got a PS5 getting it for free? Even if you've not got PS Plus, is that what you're saying? That's gonna be nice. That's gonna be nice. I'm I'm you know, I have rebought Red Dead Redemption digitally because I had it on disc. I've had to rebuy it to play it. So I'm just waiting for just after Christmas when they announce Red Dead Redemption 2 Remastered. And having to swallow my 20 quid that I paid. <sighs> okay, Colin. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, there, there was a leak the other day. Did you see that it was the Red Dead Redemption Outlaws Edition? that was rumoured to have a kind of PS5 version of Red Dead Redemption 2 and a remaster of Red Dead Redemption. That would be nice, wouldn't it? It's not true. It's all fake, but wouldn't it be nice? I would, 100%, I would, I would buy a remaster of Red Dead Redemption. Can you imagine? GTA, GTA 5 re-remastered. It is. That's what it is. There's no denying it. That's apparently, yeah, it's, it's fake as it's as fake as the nose of my face. Oh, it's so good. Uh, I mean, so good. Nat Pacino mistakenly played Red Dead Redemption instead of Red Dead Redemption 2 recently. And my only, only response to her was, you can't go wrong. <laughs> you can't go wrong, you know, that's fine. You know, you've made a mistake, it's the wrong game, but it's a brilliant game. One of my favourite games ever. Ever. Oh, so good. Has the re 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 remaster of Skyrim been done yet? No, it's only a matter of time though, isn't it? Xbox exclusive though. It'll be an Xbox exclusive. Ah, uh, the graphics are a wee bit tired, but you know, story wise, unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. Right. I'm going to boost. Thank you so much for joining me for Erica. That was great fun. I right, have a wee think. And I'll see you. Keep your eye on the Discord. If you're not on the Discord, jump on the Discord. And, uh, stay friendly with the chat and and we'll have a wee discussion maybe about whether we should do Erica part three i'll need to think of a new rhyme though i need to think of a new rhyme deja vu maybe something with three um oh here here we here we here we here we we Erica part three so Nat Pacino, Nat Pacino. I'm going to finish. I'm going to come and play Red Dead with you. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Erica was good tonight, Nat Pacino. You missed yourself. You missed yourself. Nat, I need to tell you, Nat Pacino had a premiere for a film tonight. Lost at Christmas in cinemas on the 7th of December, if you've got a cinema. But you can also buy it on iTunes and all your usual places, I think. Uh, but I uh, it was a week in a private premiere tonight. Nat Pacino was there. She's a star. Nat Pacino's a star. She's the first name. She's the first name at the top. Big proper film, Nat Pacino. And you're the headline. I can't actually quite go over that. I don't think... When you say people, you don't realise what that is. That's a big proper film, a big cinema release film. And you're the top name. Just like that. Let that settle in. Let that settle in. Proper film in cinemas. It's not just one that went to Amazon Prime. 
we made a film and we, we've managed to get on Amazon Prime. This is in cinemas, distribution deal, Nat Pacino's name at the top. How good's that? Bravissimo! On Wednesday on this channel, you will find the very handsome, debonair, cool, calm and collected Colin Little. And he's going to be playing Bug Snacks for you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! The PS Plus game for PS5 this month is Bug Snacks. The best guess we can have is it's Sony's answer to Animal Crossing. Is it? I think it will give you the Wiggins. But Colin Little is going to play it. He's going to see. Has it been at the Dune Film Festival though? No, it has not, Colin. It's not. Eh. It is mental, isn't it? Uh, so Wednesday, come here, 8pm. You'll find Colin Little playing Bug Snacks. I'm looking forward to it, Colin Little already. Um, Thursday is the podcast. Now, we do love you getting in touch with the podcast. There's been two new consoles out. Some people have them. Some people have tried to get them and not. Tell us your tales. We want to hear it. Is it good? Do you like it? Has it lived up to the hype? What are you excited about? What are you playing right now? Whether it's new console or old console, please let us know and here's how you can do it. Reaching the Nearly Men is easier than ever. Search for the Nearly Men video games podcast on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, or your preferred podcast player. We stream on Twitch. Follow Colin at Colin underscore NM. Follow Paul at Paul Kaczynski, all one word. Follow Gary at Blunderboy87. And let's get social on Facebook as the Nearly Men. Twitter and Instagram where we are at Nearly Men or go old school and email us on info at thenearlymen.com. Need all that again? Links are on our website, thenearlymen.com. So what are you waiting for? Indeed, check us out and come back here on Thursday at 8pm UTC and you can catch up with the podcast. It's good, good, good laugh. It's going to be me and Colin talking about the PS5 and Gary having fear of missing out. Uh, and then on Friday... Gary Hawk Simmons is going to be back on this channel 8pm. He's going to finish Miles Morales. Uh, he's playing on PS4 at the moment. Miles Morales on Friday 8pm. Personally, remember we've all got our own channels as well. Please do give us a wee follow on that as well. I'm on my channel tomorrow at 4pm and who knows what we're playing. We're right through a Red Dead phase at the moment. I'm enjoying Red Dead. Could well be that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We've got other things to show, maybe. But uh, 4 p.m. tomorrow on my channel, Paul Kaczynski and Colin Little. I think you're on tomorrow. There it is. 8 p.m. with Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the new console on PS5. You can catch Colin tomorrow on his channel, Colin underscore NM, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. But I think that's us, guys. Thank you so much again for joining me. It's always a pleasure. Oh, I better read it. I bet I'll raid. Let's see who we're going to raid. You can really just come up with those. Um, Quiet, you. Oh, let's see who this is. Yeah, let's just go here and see what it is. Oh, he's Scottish as well there, I think. That's nice. Always nice to do a wee Scottish one. We'll go and see the gastronaut who's playing Dishonored. I know a lot of people love Dishonored. Is that a game I couldn't get into? Couldn't get into it. But I know a lot of people like it. So stick with us, guys. We're going to go and raid. Uh, thank you once again for joining me. Let's see possibly Erica next week. Thank you for joining me tonight. Have a lovely rest of your Monday and enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, on my channel. Bye-bye. <laughs>